I took some portraits for a real estate agency several times now and each time I think I've taken care of the problem but I keep getting some pretty bad specular highlights on some people's faces. Now I'm suspecting it might be their skin but it keeps happening so I need to do some research. What I did today, as you will see soon, I set up a softbox. Pretty much all of my stuff is ProMaster. The tripod, the softboxes, everything. The flash I use is the 600 uh, RT2. I do use uh, this little bad boy on the hot shoe. I do love that thing. Now, I set up a softbox and just took photos of it as it fired. I suspected that maybe as I increase the power, perhaps it develops a, a hot spot in the middle of the hot uh, softbox, perhaps. Now, let's see what happens when I actually do that. I just wanted to actually see how long it would take me to set this up. This is basically how I set up my softboxes each time I take my equipment somewhere. I recorded this mainly to see how long it would take. It takes about three to three and a half minutes each time. So you can see there, there is an internal diffusion sort of a fabric. And then a second diffuser as well. The speed light itself has the little diffuser flipped down. So there's three levels of diffusion here. Now, the first photo you will see here is 128th power. That was at uh, 128th at uh, F4. This next one is um, F5.6. Then um, the next one is one thirty second power at F8. I will spare you the details here and skip to the end. Now, but as you can tell, they are all more or less identical. Again, barring that last one. If I go into any one of these, Let's say here. And uh, play with the exposure. If I go down, it becomes more obvious. See, that's pretty well even. There is a very slight, very, very slight hotspot around the middle. It's like a little cross. But, oh boy, is that slight. It is... And this is consistent through all the images. They're basically the same. So I'm actually surprised at just how consistent this is. I shouldn't be, but I thought maybe that's what was causing the specular highlights. But it's not. Then I was curious. What about if I take those diffusion layers out of the softbox? Let's take a look at what happens there. Now, I've sped that up to save everyone the time, but basically I will take out that middle bit of diffusion. Just roll it away, put it away there. And let's see what that looks like. This here, as evident from the little shadow at the bottom, is um, no diffuser in the middle and you can tell here there's that cross a much much brighter hotspot if I turn that up and down you can see there that is quite a considerable hotspot there for the next one I then flip that little diffuser on the flash unit up the settings remain the same on the camera. Strangely, um, well, perhaps not. 
what's happened there is the diffuser would almost certainly block some of the light as well so um, let's try and uh, compare the two by the way shift r which is this little area in the bottom left allows you to compare images so if i turn down the exposure to try and match the previous one uh, i'd say around there perhaps which is about half a stop of light but it's hard to hard to compare because now we have a uh, far brighter hotspot it's just a really bright cross right across the whole thing yeah you, you can really tell the difference from one level of diffusion to the next let's look at them both together yeah you can see it becomes less diffuse. yeah okay okay have a look at this there are like secondary crosses there in the where the flash diffuser is present and then not where it's not present so it's spread out at least a little better there but obviously i wouldn't take photos without all the layers of diffusion what did i do next ah yes yes so here i will put the inner softbox diffuser back on but without the flash diffuser i'm testing all the different variables there fairly bright the diffuser definitely seems to be doing something let's see let's compare those i'd say again without the diffuser present i might need to turn down the um, exposure a bit Oh, you can, I mean, um, it's hard to find the right spot to decide where the exposure should be, but you can see that is far, far more diffuse. So even if you don't use the flash diffuser, the inner softbox diffuser definitely makes a huge difference. Huge difference. Now, the last one. I can't even remember what I did, frankly. Oh, yes, I set it back with all the diffusers on so we can compare all of them. Okay. That is everything properly diffused. And uh, if I turn down the exposure, you can see that's pretty well Pretty well, um, no hotspots there at all. Very evenly lit. What about comparing it just to the previous one? Hmm. Again, it's so hard to match this because there is a hotspot there so it's kind of hard to decide the lights concentrated in the middle and the sides are darker not a great deal of difference actually but because i did i did set the zoom on the flash to 20 millimeters which is very wide all the same but it makes a noticeable difference to have that diffuser flipped down I'll turn them both down so we can see. You can see a slightly more noticeable hot zone there without the extra diffuser on the flash. Now, yeah, so I've learned a valuable lesson and a slight relief as now I know for sure that the softbox remains equally soft all the way through the range of the uh, power of the flash but there is one more thing i wanted to try i do like using gels color gels so i throw on a 
purple one and then took a photo with that. So yeah, I throw that gel onto the flush and then took a photo just to see, mainly to see how much light I'm losing. That gel will also take some of the exposure down. Let's see the difference. I noticed a uh, peculiar difficulty in trying to match the brightness level here. Because it's a gel, it removes certain frequencies of light. In this case, that seems to be green, as you can tell by the histogram up the top here. Green is just dipped way down. Whereas if I load the previous one, you can see all the frequencies are even there. This is white balance matched to the flash. So the flash is not a factor in the color. It is properly balanced. But with the purple gel, the colors are spread and um, especially the green. The red is dipped down a bit below the blue, but the green is way down. Exposure zero compensation looks like this. Definitely considerably darker. So when you use gels, do turn up the brightness of your, of your flash. It seems to be 1.2 stops roughly with this purple one. All right, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe for more quirky and strange uh, experiments like this. I love getting really technical and understanding what's happening. And I would certainly like to share it with other people. And follow me on Instagram where I will post a lot of the results, whether that be portraits or dancing, actually. I, I love dancing other dances. I'll have some photos and or I already do have photos and videos up there. I do have another channel with dancing videos, but that's a whole other story. So check me out on Instagram, uh, pigmillan underscore photo. Thank you for your time. I'll see you next time.